Coming up on Around Kern County, we're introducing you to our new probation chief and giving you a look at the impact of this amazing public safety department. And Back to School is here. We're sharing how child support touched the lives of thousands of local students before they headed back into the classroom when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. This week, our probation department celebrated a new chapter by swearing in their new chief, William Bill Dickinson, who has spent years serving the department as their deputy chief. A special ceremony was held in our board chambers to welcome him to his new role, which was filled with coworkers, family, and friends. I encourage you all to continue to join me in our relentless pursuit of better. Better for those we are called to work with, better for our department, better for one another, and better for Kern County. Also this week, our board honored probation's outgoing chief, T.R. Miracle, for his nearly 27 years of dedicated service to Kern County. I always felt like I could make a difference every day. I never know who or how. It could be a victim that we gave a voice to, or an adult probationer helping turn their life around away from drugs or violence. Or it could be a coworker that we help support through tough times, or a parent that we provide hope to, or a youth where we plant a seed that grows, changing the trajectory of their life forever. I've seen the same desire to make a better community in the men and women of the probation department every single day throughout my career. We're so proud of our probation department and the vital service they provide to the safety of our community by reducing recidivism among offenders through accountability and opportunity. And if you're looking for a career where you can make a real difference, apply now to join their fantastic team at kernprobation.com. I know it's hard to believe we're already in August, but Public Health and Behavioral Health and Recovery Services wants to make sure we feel our best as we head into the new school year. This month's Grounded in Health campaign focuses on putting down devices to better improve the well-being of our bodies and minds. From spending time outdoors to quality time with loved ones, a little less screen time can make a big impact. The devices have really changed our lives. We've been able to do things more efficiently and effectively, which is great, but we also need to remember that we need to put those devices down. It is super important for us as part of being grounded in health to put down our devices and get back to engaging and connecting with our family and our friends and getting out and being active. I think that social media and our phones and the way we communicate is also very different now and that level of communication and connection has an impact on our social health, our mental health, and the way we feel connected to the world around us. Kern County has so many resources available for us and our families to engage in that don't involve being on a device. For more information about this month's campaign or tips and tricks on how to live your happiest, healthiest life, just visit kerngroundedinhealth.com. Kern County Child Support Services is making sure local students have what they need for a successful school year. Anna Marie Odo has the story. August is Child Support Awareness Month and our Child Support Services Department is helping students get ready to head back into the classroom. Last week, they hosted their 14th annual Ready, Set, Back to School Free Health and Wellness Fair at the Kern County Museum. More than 75 community partners joined the department to pass out free backpacks, shoes, and school supplies to students in kindergarten through 12th grade. Thousands of people attended this event and 3,700 backpacks and 300 pairs of new shoes were handed out to local kids. Each community partner also gave out their free services, ranging from dental checkups to food boxes. Child Support also made sure these resources were available to communities across Kern County and provided them to children in Delano, Ridgecrest, Taft, and Rosamond. Over the past 14 years, Child Support has distributed over 43,000 backpacks to Kern County kids. 
We'd like to congratulate their amazing department for this incredible impact and passion for helping Kern County families. We're also sharing some exciting news for the residents of Rosamond. After months of careful planning, construction, and hard work, the Rosamond Community Pool at Jim Williford Park is officially open for the rest of summer. Second District Supervisor Zach Scrivener held a ribbon cutting last week to celebrate the event, and families enjoyed taking a swim to cool off. Visitors can make a splash every weekend from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. The pool will close when seasons change on Sunday, October 1st. And before we go, we just want to remind residents living in the unincorporated areas of Metro Bakersfield of a newer resource. Thanks to our recent partnership with the City of Bakersfield, you can now report graffiti by using the City's app. To submit a request, all you need to do is download the City of Bakersfield's app on your smartphone. Hit request, select graffiti, pinpoint a location, add any photos or information you want to include and report it. Then the City of Bakersfield will respond to your request and keep you updated on the progress of their graffiti abatement team. The county is so proud to work with the city to bring their important and timely graffiti abatement services to unincorporated Bakersfield area residents. Because making sure our community looks its best will make our area an even better place to live. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our submit a story form. We'll see you right back here next time.